working? What are you doing? Oh, look at that hair. What? That is adorable. Oh, do you have a necklace on? Yeah, that's Oh, let's do a quick picture of that hair. Two, three. Okay, Turner, I want to get a picture of that cute little face of yours with it, too. All right. Now you go help Mama Janae, okay? High five. <laughs> love you, big girl. I love my little interruption while I'm working in my office. The weather is really like overcast and rainy and it just kind of makes you want to stay curled up in bed all day. So it's almost lunchtime and that's pretty much what we've done today. Um, the kids are playing on the iPad. Amber's been playing with the girl's hair. Janae and I have been snuggling. Whole question, do you guys find that the weather affects your mood? I do. When it's sunny and bright and the perfect weather, I just want to be out and active. And when it's rainy, I just want to snuggle up and drink hot chocolate and eat chocolate chip cookies and watch movies. But I have a feeling the day's gonna get more exciting. You're the tickle monster? Oh no! The tickle monster! I can't get over her hair today. It's so cute. Oh, scratching my back. That was good. No, she's getting ferocious back there. <laughs> I think somebody's feeling better. <laughs> So in the mail, I just got the bill from the hospital for all the expenses and charges relating to having our baby. On your mark, get set, go! I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to be a chicken. This one I gotta stay tonight. How's doing the chicken dance? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Chicken dance might help the viewers feel better. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, it's too short of a turn. Yeah, it's the band-aid helping. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Love you, buddy. I love you, too. Did you cry? Those things hurt. So I'm doing my favorite thing right now, which is just snuggling Janae. And I just love these little moments. I know she's going to grow so fast. And it's, she's... Blah. I can't talk. It's crazy because she's already almost a month old and I, I can't believe that. And it's hard because as she's getting a little bit older, I'm starting to feel more expectations. And I don't know if they're in my own head or if there really are the world's expectations, but I'm starting to feel like I should be back to normal. Like I should be up and at it. I should be dressed and have my makeup on and be making dinner and be skinny again and just be out and about and doing everything like normal. And I'm not. I'm just trying to be gentle with myself. You know, maybe it'll take me a little bit longer to get back to normal and that's okay. Everybody's different and this is what brings my heart joy and helps heal me emotionally and physically. So we're just gonna keep doing this. I'm feeling fantastic. Not hurting at all. So Isaac is trying now to do the ripstick without anybody helping him out. Here we go. Oh, woo! Look, that was all by yourself. You know, I didn't even help you. Woo! Hey, you started. You started. Hop, hop, jump. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Good job, Isaac. You're doing it. Oh. Woo! Got it, sis. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 
and bad, you guys. So something really exciting just showed up at our door that we ordered. Do you guys want to see what it is? become a butterfly. That's right. Do you see the caterpillars? Yeah. They're tiny. They're tiny right now. They're going to get bigger. And then they're going to turn into butterflies. They can't even move. They are moving. Look, if you look close, you can see them moving. All right, so we're going to stick them right here where you guys can look at them, okay? Why is there a lot of dirt on the ground? That's the food. Okay guys, so this is the life cycle of a caterpillar into a butterfly. It's happening. No, it's going into its chrysalis. Dad, does it have like green to like make sure no predators like come to get it? Yeah, maybe it looks like a leaf. Yeah. Oh. How does it, like I can see its eyes. And then it's going to come out of its chrysalis and be a butterfly. How long does it take to... We're going to find out. So did you ride your bike with your hair like that? Yep, yeah, I just squish it. That's how you put it in your helmet? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. It is such a cute hairdo. Mm -hmm. We're going to miss Amber. Okay, I'm not coming with Amber to the airport, so I have to say goodbye to her now. So sad. Love you, Kendra. Janae and I are gonna miss you. Bye, Janae. I love you. Amber has the magic touch with Janae. She can get her to settle down. I'm gonna Aww. miss her. Huh? I love you, Janae. Hi. I love you. <laughs> She's so gonna be bigger next time you see her. Well, we wanted to take Amber to a Kansas City barbecue place, but there wasn't one open right now today. So we're doing Culver's, which is also a Midwest thing. So all of our cousins came to help us say goodbye to Amber. Combs. There you go. What was your favorite part of having Amber with us? Learning how to rip sticks. Did she teach you? Yeah. She is so good at teaching. Yeah. I am gonna miss the hair. Laura's hair today <laughs> is hilarious. So my favorite part of having Amber here was that I got to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her. When we do big family reunions, there's like 300 people there, it feels like, and so you don't get to just do one-on-one -on -one time. So it was cool to get to know her one-on-one. -on -one. I love that. The double butter burger with nice. bacon. Hey. That so is good. good and messy. Try it. Mmm, that's trying. actually pretty good. I don't like it. You don't like it? It has a little salt, you say? I like it. Both. All right, wave goodbye, you guys. Wave goodbye. Are you sad? Well, Laura is pretty sad to say goodbye to Amber. We're gonna miss her, but it was fun having her. Jay, how's up? <laughs>